I grew up in the Presbyterian Church as uh, my parents, they were involved in the church. But uh, when I was nearly 14, I just uh, started to use drugs with some people in the church, some friends in my church. And for nine years, I was really involved with drugs, addicted to drugs. And codeine, that is a kind of, not too strong as a heroin, but it's really strong for nine years from 14 to 23 and uh, I went to a camp in the Presbyterian Church. I was really worried about my, my, my life and uh, I said I will go to the camp for five days without drugs to understand more the Bible and uh, I went to there. It was five days without drugs and my life started to change from that time. And I went to the Word of Life um, uh, Seminary in Brazil, in Sao Paulo, for one year just. Uh, Jesus was working through the Bible in, in, on that time. And I just understood on that time that it was time to, to be um, involved in the, in the church planting and, uh, and to study more the Bible. And I went to uh, Bible College from Presbyterian Church for four years. And uh, in 2002, I became minister of the Presbyterian Church. But uh, now I'm really involved with uh, Jiu-Jitsu. We have uh, like uh, 10 people training Jiu-Jitsu with me in my church. And we train Jiu-Jitsu, we pray, we read the Bible, and we have time to fellowship together. The Jiu-Jitsu is very uh, good to help us to not be involved in drugs or something bad that uh, there are so many in, in Brazil. So I believe that uh, uh, our life in Jesus is something that uh, is very similar with sports. If we train in our life of some football or soccer or some things that you do, you can be very good on, that, on these things. In Jesus' life, we have to work day by day. We cannot train one week one year and stop of six years. Uh, we have to walk with Jesus. Sports is very similar like that. But we are inviting people. Uh, maybe we can be uh, there with some people. And, uh, and he sent his son out of heaven for you. My hope is that uh, people that go there, um, that they can be touched by God's word. Mm -hmm.